Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing No Snake Hotel. Now, this is actually from the developer of Choo Choo Charles, which is a horror game I've had my eyes on for quite some time. You can actually see they're playing a video from Choo Choo Charles in the bottom right of the screen there. I've actually covered this in my top upcoming horror games for 2022. I think it has a ton of potential, so if you haven't checked out what that game's all about, have a look into it, because it's definitely looking very promising. But this has been created, much like the game we played the other day, for a game jam where basically you have to create a game within, I think it's 24 hours or 48 hours, something like that. You have a really short time to make this game and you have to come up with something really original and fun and easy to make, or at least easy to make in that kind of time frame. So this is the game from Two Star Games that was created in a very short amount of time for this game jam called No Snake Hotel. It looks really cool from the little I've seen of it. I think it's basically very short, about five minutes in length. You explore a hotel. I think there's going to be a giant snake because it is a snake hotel. But yeah, I don't know too much about it because I don't want to look into a game too much before I play it. So let's just uh, experience No Snake Hotel together today and see what it's all about. Here we go. Oh, straight off. The, the Devil no snake Incarnate. Hotel. The only hmm. hotel with a 99.99% no snake guarantee. Oh no great, so we've got that 1% going for us. Incomprehensible <laughs> lack of snakes. At other hotels you run the constant risk of finding a snake in your bed sheets, a snake in your toilet. Do you? Waking up to a snake Not to the hotels I've been at. Throat. It happens more than you'd think. Does Call it now? Call the front desk for questions and enjoy your stay at the No Snake Hotel. Okay, thanks for that um, elevator voice. So, it says the devil incarnate here. I'm guessing the snake is meant to literally be, like, the devil, and he looks very angry there. We've got another poster here which says, No snakes, 99.99% guaranteed, so there's only a 0.1% chance we run into a snake here. But I think it's likely, considering the name of the game, and it does say no refund if snake is seen, so they're kind of covering all their bases there. Let's go and explore this hotel and see what's up. Reinforced there in another poster. What's this? Got a little message. I just arrived at the hotel. Good golly, Bart. This place is immaculate. You know how much I hate snakes. So I went out of my way to stay at the No Snake Hotel. They've really done it, Bart. There are absolutely no snakes in this hotel. In this kind of universe that this game takes place in, it seems like there are snakes at hotels quite commonly. <laughs> so maybe like this is meant to be the one place that doesn't have snakes. It says step on it. Hmm. Okay. Let's hope it's not too big. And we can actually step on it. Find a room 100. Well, that's 124. I want to see if we can, like, go into any of these other rooms. I don't think we can. Uh, nope. That's 120. I think we just have to, like, find room 100 straight away. I'm living the dream. I didn't think it was possible, but I sure am happy it is. The No Snake Hotel really lives up to its name. Ever since I was a little girl and got abducted by an army of rabid snakes while on vacation, I haven't left my house. After 50 years in solitude, I finally have a safe place where I can vacation. Thanks, No Snake Hotel. Well, uh, yeah. I don't know, that remains to be seen if it's a No Snake Hotel or not, doesn't it? Doesn't seem like we can go through these doors though, I keep clicking on them. But none of them let us interact, so I think we just have to keep, like, going forward, you know? Kinda can hear noises though, behind some of these doors. Oh, is that a hundred? One, zero, I think the number's fallen off that. Everywhere, except here, snakes. <laughs> There's another note, it says, I feel safer than ever here. One time at some other hotel, I walked into my room, and when I turned around to shut the door, there was a snake as long as my arm dangling from a coat hook. But here at the No Snake Hotel, I don't need to worry about what creepy slivering creatures might be standing behind me. Okay. Any snakes? I thought there was a snake there then. That kind of scared me. I turned around, I thought the game's trying to troll us here, right? Wait, this isn't even the room we can go in. We've got to go back where we came. Which way did we come from? We came from that way. We've got to go... I keep thinking I've seen something. We've got to go this way towards the flickering light. Flickering lights are never a good sign in horror games. 106. Man, I'm kind of getting nervous here. There's going to be a snake behind this door. I just know it, guys. There's blood. 101. 
102. Is this room 100? It is, isn't it? All right, let's open it. Any snakes? Nope. A flickering light. There's a bl oh. Oh, a little baby snake. Okay. I missed that almost. A little baby snake kind of crawled out of there from the blood trail. Okay. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was, um, Snack. He kind of came out of nowhere then. Is that the whole game? I think it is. Let me play that again quickly, guys. I want a better look at that snake because I kind of missed it. I tried to turn around and run. I don't know if we can survive the snake, but that was a that was a big snake. That's all I'll say. We'll quickly run through that game again. Okay, guys, so I'm just kind of going back through. I'm checking every door. I don't think there's going to be anything else that we can do with the doors, but I wanted to sort of double check, you know. Uh, I'm also going to see if there's any way we can escape the snake this time because I feel like we should be able to at least try and escape it, right? So if we head back through here, we'll get a proper look at the little snake. There it is. That's the little one we missed getting a good look at the first time. He just goes under there. Now, obviously, the snakes are going to come from this direction. Can we go this way? Huh. Can't go any further this way at the moment, but it looks like we should be able to like head down here. I tried running back this way last time. So I think I'm going to try like running this way once the snake appears. So here goes nothing. Ah, okay, we can go. We actually can. We actually can go. And there's an elevator opening, but this is out of order. No. Ah, stay back. Okay. That was not good. There was an elevator, but it was out of order. So it basically is a big troll, this game. The whole point at the end is to try and escape, and it does let you think you're going to be able to escape, but then it tricks you. Kind of annoying, because I was like, oh, we're actually going to get an ending then. But no, it's just one big troll. Nevertheless, guys, that's the end of No Snake Hotel, or at least my playthrough of it. Of course, as always with these kind of games, I will leave a link below so you can check out this game for yourself, because it is free to download and play. And, you know, overall, I was actually quite impressed with this because while it's obviously a very small, compact experience of about five minutes in length, it was also, you know, visually quite impressive. I don't know if these assets were created from scratch or if they're store-bought, but either way, it looks nice. The snake animated really well. It actually moved how I'd imagine a snake that size moving. You know, it kind of felt like a, a real threat and it took me by surprise definitely the first time it jumped out. You can also see at the bottom of the screen, once again, guys, that's Choo Choo Charles coming this year. I'm going to play that when it drops. So, yeah, check that out if you're interested. With that said, this has been No Snake Hotel. I've enjoyed playing this for you today. It's a short video, but it's a short game. I can't really do much more uh, than I've done now. I've covered, I think, everything there is to cover. With that said, if you have enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all in the next one.